Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and I'm currently in a position with one small contract left. Uh, these were the trades that I took so far today. Um, pretty good. We'll move down. This one break even. This one minus a tick. And I've got my stop at break even, and I'm working on one, two, three, four, a point, point and a quarter. Thought about getting out right in here, but there was a chance that um, we could get over uh, over this over this high into higher territory. So it's just kind of holding out for that, and that's where I'm at right now. This is a five-minute chart up here of the S&P um, uh, futures. I'll show you that it's a five-minute chart of the futures. This is the cash, the Dow, cash Dow chart, and this is the Nasdaq. Uh, cash. So just the futures on top. And just uh, gotta wait it out a little bit. And in the meantime, you can just kind of take a quick peek at nothing I can do with that trade here, there. This was the open. That was the night trading. The open took place right about here. Right about there. This is just a tick chart. Really contained movement here today. This was just a little counter trend trade. I was looking actually just for two or three ticks in here, but um, it didn't quite happen. Did move up a half a point after I got out. It just was taking too long. So and plus, it was um, a little aggressive move on my part to to try and do that. So I could see that there was one more move left in the market to the downside at that point after this coming up and down, and just got it right on the low tick there and went short there. This here was also a counter trend trade that would have worked out. I was just looking for about three ticks on this, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't like uh, that this moved back down. Just took the one tick loss, but it quickly reversed right into where I thought it was going to go. But nonetheless, there was a, a nice little move down after that. I took a break after this. I just came back here around 11 o'clock. So I just had seen this uh, market. Uh, action in the higher time frame chart that there was some support here and uh, this the rest of the method um, would tell me to go long and sure enough so I did there's one two three four point for a point a point and a quarter and I just got three ticks here we're just trying to hold this area right in here right now put that up as a candlestick chart too but not a whole lot happening right now you can see the Dow is sitting right here in the middle of this range and got a little movement now this expecting this to get over this area right here and the Dow as well you could see the Nasdaq uh, is out outperformed this has moved up much more than the Dow and the S&P so this is somewhat of a leading uh, leading the way here, the NASDAQ market. <clears throat> so, it's like we've got some movement there. Now that this has moved here, uh, I'm going to move my stop at least one tick up. And if it fails, it fails. If, uh, if it can make the push up, then it does. I can't and won't worry about it either way. That's just one little contract, but if we do get an, a good push up, it'll add nicely to this initial move here. I've already got my daily goal here either way, but I'm going to pause this just I've got 20 seconds left on this video, and I'll show you the results when I come back. Okay, well that's how it turned out. I got stopped out here at uh, plus a point, plus a point and a quarter, and plus a tick. So that gives me plenty for my daily goal, and um, that'll wrap it up. Uh, we are breaking down a little bit here. We could see some...